Hey tennis fans, my name is Shane Terry and I'm coming at you with some more tennis news updates. The 2021 Mutual Madrid Open draw has been made and there is a stacked lineup set to take center stage in the Spanish capital as one of the four WTA 1000 mandatory events this draw represents the best of the best in women's tennis right now. The only noticeable absences in this year's event being Serena Williams and Bianca Andreescu. The Canadian Andreescu was forced to withdraw just days before the draw was made, citing a positive COVID test result. This unfortunately will set back her clay court preparations, but we hope to see Bianca Andreescu at the French Open in a few weeks time. In this tennis news update, we will take a look at the women's draw and dissect how things could potentially play out in Madrid over the next few weeks. Starting off with quarter one of the 64 player draw anchored by our number one seed Ashley Barty and number seven seed Kiki Burtons, also the defending champion this year, Barty will begin her title quest against the always tricky American Shelby Rogers. This will be a tough matchup at the gate for the world number one and it doesn't get much easier from there. Also in this quarter, we have Iga Swiatek, the 2020 French Open champion, who opens against American Allison Risk. A potential Swiatek versus Barty matchup could happen in round three. The next notable player in this section, we have two-time Grand Slam champion Petra Kvitova, who plays Maria Buskova in the opening round. This could be a tough matchup for Kvitova, who has been pushed by Buskova in the past. The winner of that matchup will face the winner of Andrew Solva and Kerber, Another tough first round matchup. And lastly, number 7 seed Kiki Burtons takes on wild card Victoria Jimenez in round one. Moving on to quarter two, anchored by number four seed Alina Svitolina and number eight seed Belinda Benchins, another tough section. However, out of the four quarters in this draw, this one's seemingly the most wide open. Alina Svitolina opens her campaign against Jill Teichman with a potential third round matchup against number 15 seed Johanna Conta looming. In this section, you have some unpredictable opponents in Paula Badoza, Barbara Krenchenkova, Anastasia Savastova, and Yulia Puntenseva, who could pull off upsets. Svitolina, the favorite, however, to get through to the quarterfinals. Moving down the bracket, next seeded is number 10 seed Garbin Muguruza, who opens against 2017 US Open champion Sloane Stevens, this being one of the most anticipated first round matchups. The other seed in this section is number eight seed Belinda Benchin, who has struggled for clay form coming in. She opens against the French player Kiki Mladenovic, which should be an exciting matchup. The next quarter of the draw is anchored by number five seed Arena Sabalenka and number three seed Simona Halep. Sabalenka opens her Madrid campaign against two-time slam finalist Vera Zvonareva, who qualified to get into the main draw. A potential second round matchup against Daria Kasekina looms. Also in this section, we have Jessica Bagula and Serana Kirstea, who have both played well in 2021. A potential third round matchup against number 12 seed Victoria Azarenka looms as well. Azarenka opens up her campaign against Ekaterina Alexandrova, who was also a tough out. In the next mini section, number 13 seed Elise Mertens plays Shui Zhang of China in round one. And number three seed, Simona Halep, also here, will open up against the home favorite, Sarah Cerebes Tormo. Moving on to the final quarter of the draw, anchored by number six seed, Carolina Pliskova, who begins her campaign against up-and-coming American Coco Goff. This promises to be an exciting opening round matchup with Goff having a breakout season. The winner of this match will play the winner of Madison Keys and Anastasia Pavlinchenkova in round two. Also in this section is number 11 seed Jennifer Brady, who is still seeking a singles victory since reaching the Australian Open final in February. She opens against seven-time Grand Slam champion Venus Williams. The winner of this matchup will face the winner of Yelena Ostapenko and Svetlana Kuznetsova. Moving down the bracket, we have number 16 seed Maria Sakari, who has a tough opener against American Amanda Inisamova. And finally, the number two seed, Naomi Osaka, who opens against the tricky Japanese player Masaki Doi in round one. To say the least, this draw has no easy matches and it's tough to call who will get through and take the title. It speaks to the depth and talent of the women's game at present time. Anyone can win on any given day. Which brings us to predictions. It is so tough to call, 
but these are my predictions from the quarterfinals to beyond. So for my picks to reach the quarterfinals, in the top half, we have Ashley Barty taking on Patrick Avidova in the quarterfinal. And then in the second quarterfinal on the top half, we have Elena Svitolina taking on Garbine Muguruza. Moving on to the bottom half of the draw, we have Irina Sabalenka taking on Simona Halep. And then a surprise in there, we have Madison Keys versus Naomi Osaka to round out our, to round out our four quarterfinal matchups. Then moving on to the semifinals, we have Ashley Barty taking on Garbine Muguruza. And then on the other half, we have Simona Halep versus Naomi Osaka. And then my projected final would be Garbine Muguruza taking on Simona Halep with Simona Halep winning the Madrid Open title in 2021. That is it for this tennis news update. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. My name is Shane Terry, and this is Tennis News Updates. I thank you guys for watching.